Hey all, Blake here with another video. And some of you may or may not know that recently I got into 3D printing and I thought it would be pretty fun to show you eight items that I've printed for my fish room today. Let's jump straight into the video. So pretty much the inspiration behind getting a 3D printer was to print out things that I could use in my fish room. And some of these things were available um, online because there's lots of databases where people do their own designs and upload them. Um, but most of them I've actually uh, designed myself. So um, I've actually done a lot of computer aided drafting and stuff like that before. So for that reason I found it um, pretty enjoyable to get back to my roots and design some things that I can use around the fish room, print out, and uh, basically I could make as many of them as I want in whatever color I want. So I thought I'd show you eight here today, which are pretty much the first eight that I came up with. And um, yeah, I just thought maybe it would be a good thing to inspire. And um, if any of you are really after any, I can of course potentially accommodate you if you reach out. On that topic, I guess we'll cover off the first one. This one I did not design, this one was from Thingiverse here, and this one's going out to Ugly Man's Reefing. What we have here is actually a mount for the controller of a Ecotech Vortec uh, pump. So you might see those saltwater pumps where they have a little dial on them and there's a, basically a box that controls the pump. So this here is going to be screwed into the cabinet and um, the controller will sit inside that. So I thought that was a pretty cool little print and Ugly Man asked me to print out four of these for him. So um, these will be headed off to you now, Ugly Man, now that I've done the video. The next one I printed out was this little um, Episto cave here. And I thought, you know, how easy is that? You can just sort of create two little domes. I even, um, not sure if it's really showing up that well, but it does say Blake's Aquatics on the top there. So I even customized it that way, but you can obviously adjust the opening to whatever size you like and um, I thought this was a good size for my Epistos. So this cave here has actually been in my Borelii tank for quite a while now. If, the, if you are out there concerned about putting plastic and stuff like that in your aquariums, these are all printed on something that's called PLA or polylactic acid and it's actually a plastic that is made with um, starches, potentially from uh, corn or potatoes and things like that and it's fully sustainable so um, a lot of it is recycled and then with the um, starches from vegetables it's quite environmentally sustainable and not as bad as other plastics that we might buy in um, the other ornaments for our fish tanks. Continuing along the theme of caves I also printed a Pleco cave here so a bit of a D cave design. Of course once again you can make the opening whatever size you like and I've got the is that upside down? I've got the Blake's Aquatics at the bottom there, which I thought was pretty cool. This one here is done in a silk PLA, so that's why it's got a sort of more metallic finish, but I thought it was pretty cool. And um, the other thing you can do is adjust the infill, so this here isn't 100% filled in. This one here is about 80%, and I'm playing with that to determine at what level the cave will actually float or sink. So, um, of course, you can print any number of caves in any shape or size. Moving on to something a little bit bigger, we have something I'm pretty excited about here. This here is a hanger which I'm going to put pothos in so that it can hang on the side of our aquariums and um, basically we'll take this front fascia off, put the pothos in there, put that fascia back down again and um, it'll keep your pothos nice and safe. It won't keep falling into the water and um, once again got the Blake's Aquatics on the front but any color, you can make it whatever color you like. So um, this one here is, can hold four stems of pothos and um, yeah, of course we can have one screw, two screws, no screws, and um, you can even print um, shorter arms for rimless tanks and stuff like that. So, so I'm really excited to try out this pothos hanger. Then my good buddy, uh, Sir Pranalot, was talking on the stream about doing custom uh, shrimp lollipops, which are sort of sticks covered in food for shrimp. And I said that I would happily print him off one of these. So we have here the custom Sir Peronalot decoration or um, shrimp lollipop if you choose to use it for that. But this is pretty cool. You could t potentially put any logo at all on one of these and stick it in the, in the substrate of your aquarium and then you've got a nice little custom decoration there. So if you want to see this actually in action, 
as a shrimp lollipop, you'll have to head over to Sir Pronolot's uh, YouTube channel. He's a really great guy and I'd recommend doing that anyway, so um, check that out. This next one here I think can be really functional and really handy for a lot of us. If you have the master test kit from API or any of the brands really, what this here is here is a rack. So what a lot of us do is we have our little test tubes, put our um, testing our liquids in there and then shake them up and we have to wait five minutes for them to show up. Well this little rack here we can simply place the four test tubes in here and bada bing bada boom we can let them wait and you're not going to knock them over and ruin your test. So if I wanted it to be more sturdy I could put little divots in the bottom there but I just put the logo there just for the fun of it basically and I printed it in white because I thought it would be more reflective and easier to see the difference in colour of the testing solutions. So um, a lot of people actually asked me to design up a test tube holder. Just before I finish up this segment, I'll just let you know that um, since designing and using that uh, test tube holder, which I did find really handy, uh, Dave from Dave's Aquarium Thoughts, we were discussing it and he actually brought this one to my attention. This one's up on Thingiverse. Somebody else has designed this one and I printed it up. It took about 16 hours and you can print however many you like. So this spot here is for your test tubes and this spot here is for your solution bottles. Then this stand here is where you keep your cards. So you can put your test tube in there for pH. Also, if you can see there, it has labels for all the different things, which I think is really important. And um, yeah, overall, I just think this design is a bit better and um, it's certainly very stable. Once again, I printed it in white so I could easily see the solutions and all that stuff. But I thought I'd let you know that there is a really great uh, API master test kit um, stand right here available on Thingiverse. So um, check that out if you're interested. The biggest print that I've done so far, um, for the fish room anyway, is this here. This is a hang on uh, planter. So what I would suggest for this is it gets filled with clay beads and then we can place it in our aquariums. Whether you put pothos in there or any other sort of house plant or terrestrial plant, things like peace lily, um, it'll be nice and safe and protected in there from a lot of your fish. It'll get some nice steady water flow and it will be in contact with the aquarium so it'll suck out those nitrates. So once again, we've got the Blake's Aquatics up here on the handle. I just have a habit of doing that basically. But um, yeah, some nice holes through there so uh, water can get through and fish won't and then We've got sort of the slotted overflow um, system here. That's, yeah, slots in the bottom. Uh, some of these, uh, there is actually what's called a raft. It's still on there, I just haven't taken it off yet, but the slots do go all, all the way. So this one here is actually pretty interesting. This is printed in glow-in-the-dark filament, uh, blue glow-in-the-dark, but um, you need quite a lot of UV light to get it to glow. So um, yeah, I won't demonstrate that here today, but pretty cool option. You can even have glow-in-the-dark fish room stuff. And last but not least, this one here I thought was pretty interesting as well. This is a tank um, hang on tool holder. Was that English? No. So this here uh, goes on the side of your aquarium. There's these little uh, wing nuts here which tighten it to the glass. And then what you do is you place your um, aquascaping tools such as tweezers. Place in there your um, aquascaping tools, your tweezers or your uh, aquascaping scissors or whatnot, and they just hang in there and stay safe. You won't lose them everywhere. So, um, yeah, once again, we have the Blake's Aquatics on the side, some nice, comfortable um, wing nuts there, and um, yeah, that's pretty much what I've had fun doing so far. Downsides are that a lot of people don't realize how long it takes to print. For example, this uh, print here, the tool holder, this took about 13 hours. Um, this hang on planter here took about a day and uh, some of these smaller prints I think the Sir Pronolot was about an hour so it is quite um, time consuming and then that's if the print goes right. A lot of times there can be things like bed adhesion issues and other stuff but I'm having a lot of fun playing around with this. I'd certainly take on board any recommendations if they, you think there's a need for an item out there and you'd like me to play around with and um, print one out I'd certainly be happy to do that. Other than that, um, if you are interested, I'll, if there's enough interest in it, I might actually set up like a little um, area in the Discord potentially or on my Facebook and we can have a look at um, selling these or shipping them out and um, doing all that. So yeah, hopefully you like this idea. Um, 
I think there's a heap of applications for 3D printing in our crams. It's something that I haven't seen that much, so I thought I'd bring it to your attention. Um, hopefully you've liked this video, hopefully uh, provided some food for thought or something interesting. And um, so there we go. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, it always helps me out to smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. Other than that, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.